Good morning, Bob Hall here with Hulsome Farm making another uh, sustainable farming video. It's uh, beginning of February so it's time to plant potatoes again and some of you may have seen my uh, videos from last year where I grew potatoes in these grow bags and uh, I bought four bags of seed potatoes from Wood Prairie farm four different types twenty dollars a bag and uh, we divided them up and planted them in I have 14 grow bags here so spent eighty dollars to buy seeds and I was expecting some exciting results but uh, if you see our videos and I'll put the links up here to them when we harvest it we only got 36 pounds of potatoes out of 14 bags and each bag costs you know with the bag and the soil and everything got about $25 into each bag so that comes out to about $10 a pound for potatoes which you know even though we grew them I wasn't very happy with the yield and so I wrote them a uh, an email stating everything that I did seeing if I had done something wrong maybe it was because their potatoes are grown in a cold region and we're in Texas and it's warmer even though I planted them in the end of winter beginning of fall anyway I was hoping for some help to find out because you know most likely I did something wrong and didn't hear anything from them so I'm not gonna buy any more potatoes from them I know they're good people and they they work on uh, getting labeling for GMO and uh, they've got all kinds of great things going on but I need to work with somebody who's got customer service available to help me out because if you think about it in our lifetime we only have 40 to maybe 45 growing seasons in our lifetime you know, if we start when we're in our 20s and we end when we're in our 60s, you know, that's that's 40, 45 years. And so we lost a year uh, without knowing what maybe we did wrong with the potatoes. Well, in May, we planted sweet potatoes in the same grow bags. Now, harvesting in, in grow bags is wonderful because if you watch the videos, we just dump it out into a, a wheelbarrow there's no damage to the potatoes it's really good and between these 14 bags we had about 60 slips of sweet potatoes that we planted in the food forest I planted two slips and I've got a video on that as well and we didn't do any better we still got about 30 36 pounds worth of sweet potatoes and in the food forest, with the two slips, we got an amazing abundance. We got like 60 pounds of potatoes out of the food forest. So we noticed when we were harvesting the sweet potatoes, and I'll tell you, we watered these bags at least every two days, constantly. And we put lots of water, so it took a lot of time. Well, we noticed when we went to go harvest, the first about two inches was moist everything else underneath was very very dry and so we determined no matter how much water we put in the water was seeping in just a little bit and then going to the edges and going down and so the plants and the roots weren't really getting watered properly so we're thinking that might have been the biggest problem we had last year with the white potatoes and the sweet potatoes so this year I'm going to try something a little bit different and that's why I wanted to show you uh, some friends of us gave us some of this scrap uh, French drain pipe you can uh, buy it at uh, any Home Depot Lowe's anything like that but this was given to me so I thought okay I'm gonna cut it and I cut it at 12 inches it's got these nice big holes in it so I can fill it up and they can drain into the dirt and I didn't have money for a lid or a bottom so 
what I did is I just stuffed newspaper down in there and uh, so that should slow the water down so I can fill this tube up and I'm just gonna sit it right here in the center so that I can better water these grow beds so we'll still put some water on top but now I can fill up this tube and let the water seep in through the center so I'm going to go ahead and uh, plant my potatoes some of them are already starting to grow eyes now these potatoes were given to me too and since they're already starting to grow but they had they were starting to rot a little bit so I cut the, the rot off and let these dry for a couple days so that that's scabbed over you don't want to put uh, a fresh cut potato into your soil because that'll attract the bad bugs all the starch and stuff will leach out so you want to let it dry for a couple days which is what we've done here so I just plant those around Now the other thing we did last year for our white potatoes is we stacked them. So all the research and internet and, and so YouTube videos. But again, as I've said before, at least 80% of the stuff that's out there on YouTube or on the internet is bad information. And I think there's two reasons for it. One is there's people out here there who just want to sell you stuff. So they'll put anything out there. They'll grab it from any. They don't, they don't validate. They don't care if it's true or not. They just put stuff out there so they can sell stuff to you. The other reason, I think, is because you get people who bored at work or whatever and for four or five weeks watch these YouTube videos and think, oh, I can do this better. And then they film themselves over the weekend doing this project and then all of a sudden uh, it doesn't work out but they don't go back on YouTube and say this is why it didn't all work well last year based on stuff we had seen and read we stacked our potatoes and that didn't result in any success at all the only potatoes that produced were the first ones we put in so I did more research and then I found people who said oh you can't stack they don't grow you can't add more dirt it doesn't doesn't work but then I ran across one guy who said well the only way he's had success doing it is he's put in the first grouping of potatoes and once those leaves have grown about six inches then he puts in a second layer of seed potatoes and then he covers the whole thing with dirt and then that way at least he gets two layers so that's what I'm going to try to do with this bag so you can see uh, I've filled it three quarters of the way full I've got my uh, uh, pipe in there and uh, we'll we'll go from there I'll do the rest of these beds that way and hopefully we can salvage uh, some better yields this year and uh, come May we'll make another video and we'll show you when we dump these out into the wheelbarrow and harvest uh, what our results were. Anyway, this is uh, Bob Hall with Halsam Farm. We hope you enjoy what we're doing here on the farm and we enjoy sharing these videos with you. If you would, please share them with your friends and uh, hit the like button for us and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you watching.